The first stop in our North Queensland adventure was Hamilton Island in the Whitsundays. It's a touristy island and a popular gateway to the Great Barrier Reef. But you're still surrounded by plenty of natural beauty, glowing turquoise waters everywhere you look, and there are plenty of land and sea activities to get stuck into. So it's just a fun holiday overall. Let's see if we have a view. Oops. Ugh. Peanut gallery. What's up, boys? Oh, there's another one. Here in the corner. <laughs> Our first activity was a 35 minute helicopter ride from Hamilton Island out to the Reef World complex. The flight was the absolute highlight of the whole week. The views are simply unmatched by anything you could possibly do at sea level. Whitehaven Beach and Hill Inlet are early highlights. But it's when you get over the reef itself that you'll instantly know why this is a bucket list item for so many people, us included. Unfortunately, we thought the reef world experience wasn't great. The coral was a bit lifeless and it wasn't exactly teeming with sea life but it was a fun day nonetheless. We have another video that shows our helicopter experience in much more detail. I'll leave a link in the description. Overall, I couldn't think of a better way to spend our first day in Hamilton Island. Early on day two, we decided to hike up to Passage Peak, which is the highest point on the island. We wanted to do this early because the weather in North Queensland gets seriously, seriously hot. No matter what time of year it is, it's a hot, humid, tropical climate. The hike is about an hour to an hour and a half depending on how fast you go. There are lots of places to stop with very nice views along the way and maps that are very easy to read. And while the last part of the hike is quite steep, there are stairs most of the way and it's generally a very friendly walk, so you don't need any special equipment or hiking boots. Final steps. One. And once you get to the top, you'll be greeted with the best views of the island. We went fairly early in the morning, so there was no one else around which made it that much more enjoyable. It also allowed us to take photos and videos without interruption. Good work, darling. She has left me hanging. Well, we're back. We've certainly earned our right to go swimming. But, need 20 minutes in the air conditioning. Iced soda water just to get the old core temperature down, to recover a bit, and then we're gonna go try find some turtles out there. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. You can hire snorkel gear right on Cat's Eye Beach. There's also an option to do a guided tour to look for turtles. We opted not to do this, but we wish that we had. We could see the tour guide off in the distance pointing at turtles, but we couldn't find any. We did find this stingray, some fish swimming around, and lots and lots of seaweed. And for the modest outlay of about 20 bucks, you're far better off getting the tour guide so you can see all the best stuff. So, finishing the day off with a sunset cruise on a catamaran. Now I'm hoping this thing picks up some speed. It's gonna make you cold. Um, whole point is to see the sunset, which was glary as hell over there. I wanted to get a good video of the boat from the outside because it looks pretty awesome. But we were running slightly late. Well, one person slightly later, so we're still sitting here. Hello, but should be a lot of fun. We're just hanging out on these nets just above the water. So hanging onto our phones very tightly 
and I'm hoping it doesn't fall out of my pocket and go through this little gap. So the large catamaran just got pushed along gently by the breeze. We didn't pick up any speed. It's a great way to enjoy the view, relax, have a few drinks and just watch the sun go down at the end of another great day. As you can see, Arne is making the most of the view, as always. The sun has literally just set. So it's our last full day here and we um, didn't really have anything planned, but we had some ideas. Uh, one was having a close up encounter with a koala. Another was getting a boat, hiring a boat and either going fishing or just trying to find some hidden beaches. Uh, another was walking to a beach that has a swing or hammock that Anne is obsessed with and wants to get a picture with. So a couple of these things are gonna happen. We don't know which ones yet, but um, we did manage to get a last minute booking with the koalas, so we had a very rough breakfast and we're now briskly heading over to the koala encounter place, so it should be fun. And we'll see where the day takes us from there. He's got the facials, doesn't he? Well, he looks like he's enjoying it. He is, he is enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> he's missing an eye, so he's not good. Yeah. You can touch him now. <laughs> what are you looking at, darling? <laughs> Koala nuts. Wish I could fall asleep like that. Maybe not with the nuts out. We got the, the koala thing done. So we thought before it gets too damn hot, which it's already bloody hot, we're gonna get this walk done. So we are here. It's just a little one this time, just a hideaway bay. Now yesterday we did all the way up here to Passage Peak. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of other corners that you can go to. And I spoke to someone yesterday who trekked down to here. They said they didn't see anyone else for most of the day. So. If you want some quiet time and having a beach all to yourself, then there's plenty of corners you can head to. But we're going to the close one again to find this swing slash hammock. And I'm going swimming. <laughs> Back up this hill. Oh. Aunt's dressed for the occasion. In her best hiking nightwear. Or dress. Now we got this completely wrong. The swing is actually located at Coral Cove, which is the beach I pointed to on that map a moment ago on the other side of the island. Well, found no swings and hammocks, but we found a full makeshift gym. Still didn't find a swing or anything of the like, but we have had a swim. It's very refreshing, of course. And we found a corner of the beach. Well, I mean, there's only two other groups of people here. So we just found a nice shady spot under a tree at the opposite end to everyone else. And we've got the space all to ourselves. We haven't even seen a beach or a jet, uh, beach, a boat or a jet ski or anything else go past. Uh, the breeze is quite nice. It's not too hot once we're in the shade. And we've got nice blue water behind us. So after a swim, we went for a quick pub lunch with a magnificent view once again. We then headed back to the wildlife park to watch them feed this enormous saltwater crocodile. You can get really, really close to him, and while the video doesn't do it justice, I swear if I lay down flat, he could swallow four of me in one go. Later in the afternoon, I decided to take a walk up to One Tree Hill. This is the opposite part of the island to Passage Peak, where we were the day before, and overlooks the beach back where our hotel was. It's another very steep walk, 
But when I got there, I discovered that there's a cocktail bar at the top and views down the other side of the island where a lot of people gather to watch the sunset. So rather than go back to the hotel, I gave Anna a call to meet me up there. Lucky for her, you can take a bus up to the top of the hill rather than walk. I don't know why, but this reminds me of Forrest Gump. Maybe I'll get to talk to some people while I'm waiting. But, uh, everyone's down there looking at the sunset. So yet another glorious sunset at the end of another great day. It was our last night in Hamilton Island and we wanted to finish off with something special. So we went to a three course fine dining experience at the Beach Club Hotel, which was just near where we were staying. This was easily the best food we've eaten since we arrived at the island. The desserts were also exceptional and the cocktails very good as well. This left us feeling very full and the next morning when it was time to leave, very flat. So it was time to leave Hamilton Island behind and take the ferry to Prosperin for the next leg of our North Queensland adventure. Have a go at making up a lame Instagram quote on the fly. <laughs> we're not Instagram quote people. But you admire them. Oh yeah, deep admiration. Maybe if they wrote them themselves. Even they, then, it's still yeah. the best. So as we leave the island, we're richer for the experience. Richer. As we, as we, <laughs> as we close this chapter of our lives, we look forward to what awaits us ahead. Good. So Hamilton Island, it's very much a holiday package type of place to visit, but sometimes that's just what you need. Low hassle, very relaxing, and lots of fun stuff to do. And we had a really great time. Thanks for watching.